you stop filming me? Uh, no. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Our, leg our legislative committee feels very strongly about this. The word or is just a huge loophole for abuse. That, that's what it is. It's, uh, if you put or in there, and I walk in to one of these clinics, like my daughter's had to experience in Venice, California, and say, oh boy, I've had a bad back for six months, and you establish that relationship, and you can snow somebody, because pain is somewhat subjective, yeah. then you can have access to this. It's, it certainly is opening the door for recreational use. That's why our physicians feel very, very strongly that the word and versus or is a very, very big deal in this bill. Janet, I don't know if you have anything to share. That's the, that's the most important. I don't know if the board has anything to share. Most important thing is that I have something to say on this. Because of my stroke, I have seizures, grand mal seizures. And if that and is in there, I can't get if I decided to get marijuana, I can't get marijuana because I don't have cancer. Right, Every it would time be I have a grand mal seizure, it causes brain damage. What are you going to do about that? What do you say about that? What I would say about that is I'm not sure. Uh, our physicians haven't seen any science on the medical efficacy of cannabis. And so looking at this shortened list is a way to begin that process and are you understand to, it. Are you going to say that I have, I have um, got to get cancer and not seizures to get marijuana? Yes. Uh, cancer, I don't agree with that. A HIV, hepatitis C, the, the, the conditions that are listed there. All right, one more. I don't want this to break that into an argument, so let's hear you and then we're going to hear right. you and then we're going to move up to right. the right. channel. You just said what? What were you saying? You don't want to be filmed? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm not a public. I have some questions for you, and I'm getting some shots. Now, I am standing far enough away so that I can't hear you. But in a minute, I'm going to ask you some questions. But anyway, Jim, what I was going to say. On behalf You know what? I'm sorry. I realize you're pressed. I thought you were like oh, I see. somebody from the, the Well, I have some questions I have, for you. Can I okay, we're not going to ask you while we're going in that direction. Uh, why is the New Hampshire Medical Society, it sounds like they're testifying in there uh, against very slight changes in the law that would allow people a little more access to marijuana as a medical drug? Well, it sounds like you're, you're testifying, it sounds like you're, you're trying to stop this slight change in the marijuana law that would allow medical marijuana. Is right. that well, true? Well, we know we're opposed to the bill. Why? And you don't want your patients to have more access to... Can I, can I give, I have to go sign a new bill. I'll let them right up. Are you going to talk to me later? Yeah, no, I just, I just sign a new bill. I don't want to get into the way of the stuff. Can I, um, can I email you Dr. Savage's statement? 
No, I'd rather talk to someone in front of me. An email oh, doesn't do me any good. No, I'm a videographer, not an emailer. Who, do you, who are you working It's Dave for? Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's a poor man's TV station out of Bedford. Oh, okay, thanks. I don't want to. Yeah. Because I would prefer that you talk to a physician and not somebody. Well, oh, so you, you're not a care provider yourself. Well, I mean, my concern, though, is that your organization, which claims to, I guess, operate in, you know, to help patients, you're up there testifying in favor of the continued initiation of force against patients. What's with that? I guess I don't, I don't see it that way. How can you not? I mean, uh, to, the marijuana laws as they stand will we'll put cuffs on people and put them in concrete boxes for using marijuana. You're advocating for a continuation of that against your patients? Go ahead, Lynn. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. No, we're trying to make sure that people who, I can't say benefit from them because that's not how we look at it, but so you don't allow easy access to people who probably aren't truly needy. Well, for the government to not allow means for the government to put people in jail. You want to continue doing that? That's not our focus. That's not but that's, that's what you were just up there advocating, even I, if you don't. I really prefer you have this discussion with a clinician that can give you. And, you know, I'm not more of a medical perspective. Right. Well, I'm not, I don't know, you know, and, and I, I don't think anybody knows what it is. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, we had our meeting last night to try to come up with um, a policy that then Scott and I come in here and try to um, try. How about a Hippocratic Oath above all do no harm? Have you heard that one? Why not try it? Again, I refuse to ask this. All right, I do appreciate you speaking with me finally. Sorry. All right, take care. Info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.